Hi and welcome to the UI walkthrough of Estera Enterprise. In this video, I will introduce you to the different features, components and objects that are available in Enterprise and familiarize you with the main window panes and task panels. But first, what is Estera Enterprise? Estera Enterprise is an enterprise ready end-to-end -end data integration solution that offers data integration, data profiling, data transformation, and data reporting functionalities in a single, intuitive, user-friendly interface. It is designed to enable integration of complex and high-volume data in a code-free environment. Let's go ahead and launch the application. The first screen you see is the start page or the home screen of Enterprise. The start screen features regular updates about the new functionalities in the product, release updates, announcements about future updates, events, links to our communities, etc. The other thing you'll notice on the screen is the menu bar and icon bar. Menu bar consists of nine general menu items, and each of these items expand into a list of options. Let's briefly go over each of these. The first is the file menu item that expands into a standard layout and from here you can create a new data flow, report model, subflow and a workflow. You can also access recently opened files and flows from here. The next menu is the edit menu which provides basic editing actions such as cut, copy, paste, undo and redo. The view menu provides access to various task panels such as toolbox, server explorer, data source browser and project explorer that appear in vertical panels when you open them. You can also access windows such as verify job, job progress, data preview and query preview appearing in a horizontal panel. The server menu has the options for setting up server connections from Enterprise client. You can also go to job scheduler and job monitor from here. Using the tools menu option, you can change the date format or edit licensing details. The project menu is pretty self-explanatory as it deals with creating, opening and organizing projects. Next, we have this window menu that enables Enterprise users to customize different window panes and panels into a floating, dockable or tabular layout. From social, users get a direct access to Estera's knowledge base and can connect and interact with us on social and customer support platforms. And finally, the help menu provides users a direct access to Estera's documentation platform. Next, we have an icon bar. The first icon provides a shortcut to create a new data flow, workflow, report model, etc. Most of these icons are quite generic and we will learn their functionalities later with examples. Now let's go ahead and open a new data flow. The first thing you see is this data flow designer where we drag and drop different objects in order to design an ETL process. You can see that a new item has been added to the menu bar. There is also an addition of a secondary icon bar and a toolbox panel. If the toolbox is hidden, you can access it by going to View and selecting Toolbox from the menu. Toolbox has several expandable sections to facilitate the designing of an ETL process. Estera Enterprise has a native support for a wide range of structured, semi-structured and unstructured data sources and formats. It has an edge when it comes to processing hierarchical data formats such as XML, EDI, COBOL and other complex data structures. With its high-performance parallel processing architecture and bulk load capability, Enterprise enables users to load large volumes of data onto the dedicated destinations that may vary from flattened file formats like Excel 
and delimited to hierarchical structured files such as XML and JSON. Centerprise has an extensive library of built-in transformations that are used to perform a variety of operations on the data during the EDL journey. These transformations range from basic such as filter, sort, and join to advanced transformations like tree join, normalize, and route. There are also built-in function transformations and expressions to perform mathematical, financial, or logical functions on your data. Centerprise also offers advanced features such as data profiling and logging. You can gather statistics for any data set by auto mapping its fields to a data profile object or a field profile object. You can perform data quality checks through data quality rules and create log files to capture records with errors and warnings through record level log. Moreover, Centerprise enable users to parameterize data flows and make them more agile and scalable through context information and specify variables in a flow through variables object. Through database write strategies, you can perform actions such as insert, update, upsert, or delete. You can find various data writing strategies in this section. Users can also parse their data into components and write each component to a different field through text processors. In the text processors section, you can find different options to parse or serialize your data. Centerprise with its graphical interface allows you to drag and drop objects and auto map fields to integrate, cleanse, transform and load data through logic without any coding or scripting. Once you have constructed an ETL process, you can verify it for any mistakes in mapping and errors in configuration settings of the objects by simply clicking on this start verification icon a verify window will open and notify you in case there are any errors otherwise it will return a success message at this point you can go ahead and click on this start data flow icon a job progress window will open and what you see here is the trace of the job to accelerate data integration speed, you can verify and run the jobs in pushdown mode through these icons. This will execute a job entirely on server without fetching the data to Centerprise client first. Next in line are subflows. To open a subflow, go to File, New, Subflow. Subflows can be referred to as black boxes inside a data flow, simplifying and streamlining the data flow design. The toolbox for a subflow offers similar categories of actions and tasks as for a data flow with an additional section here called subflow, which expands into two connector objects, subflow input and subflow output. Subflows can be called in a data flow by dragging and dropping the subflow transformation object onto the data flow designer. Let's move on to the workflow component. Workflow is designed to orchestrate an automated and iterative execution of ordered task, where these tasks are performed according to some predefined path and custom logic. To open a workflow, go to File, new workflow or click on the drop down arrow of this icon and select workflow from the list a new designer window opens up similar to a data flow workflow also contains a toolbox with an added section called workflow tasks which expands into a list of objects used in orchestrating an etl process 
you can employ a combination of these objects using a custom logic to mobilize a task. A workflow in Centerprise is saved with a .wf or a .wf extension and it features the same drag and drop graphical interface that you see throughout the application. Here, I have a pre-made workflow document opened. Observe that each link between the objects is of different color. These colors represent different link types supported by Centerprise. You can change these link type by right-clicking on the link and going to Change Link Type and choose any of the three available options from the list. At this point, go ahead and click on this Start Workflow icon. A Job Progress window will open and will show you the job trace. On this window, you can stop the job pause or resume it or view job trace in a grid layout. Centerprise enables users to automate their data management processes through Job Scheduler. To schedule a job, go to Server, Job Schedules. On its main screen, click on Add Schedule Task icon. Here, you have to configure settings for the scheduler. Give name to the scheduled task and specify schedule type. Point the file path to the flow or task you want to schedule. And set a frequency. Users can also set up email notifications by going to Notification Email tab and fill in the necessary details. Save this task by clicking or delete it by clicking this icon. If you want to run this task right now, just click on Run the selected task now icon. Like this, any data flow, workflow job or program task you create can be easily deployed on Estera integration server to be executed automatically at regular intervals or triggered by certain events such as a job run or a file drop. You can also monitor your tasks by going to Server, Monitor. Here, you can observe the job type, execution server, check its status and so forth. In the Job Monitor window, a record in green shows a running job. A record in red signifies a job ending with error. And a record in blue signifies a job ending with success. Estera Enterprise is primarily an ETL tool, but it also provides the services of an extraction tool by using Report Model as a connector. The purpose of a Report Model is to convert unstructured data into a structured format. This unstructured data is normally a text file, a PDF file, an image file. It can even be an Excel file or a Word file, as long as the data stored is unstructured. You can open a report model by going to File, New, Report Model. Here, you see, under Model Layout panel, we start off by building an extraction template containing data regions and data fields based on a custom extraction logic. This template can be reused for all the unstructured files with the same format. From these icons above, you can export extracted data to an Excel sheet, a delimited file, or a database table. Once exported, go to Data Export Settings panel and click on Create Data Flow and Open icon. This will open a data flow with a report source that contains 
extracted data field values mapped to a destination which is further mapped to a log file. So that's it for Centerprise UI walkthrough. For an in-depth understanding of each of these components and their embedded features, you may visit our documentation site. Thanks for watching this video.